What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. So the other day I did a magic rebuild, and our guy Core Speaks, with the card on the screen now, was not happy with it. I guess it was very unrealistic and whatever. I mean, at the start of my videos, I'm always out here trying to keep it realistic. At the end, I get frustrated and start trading uh, Thaddeus on couple picks for Clay Thompson. So um, today's video, we're going to be redoing it. We're going to be building around the uh, some, some random rookie. In the 2021 draft, I do not know who it is yet, but you guys know because I made the title of the video, so let's hop into it. All right, I'm in 2K. I simulated the first season. We went 34 and 48. Uh, Magic probably might go, I might go like that in real life. So, go to the draft lottery. We have, oh, I forgot to turn the volume down. Um, We have pick nine, so that's kind of annoying. I was kind of hoping for a top five pick, so there's no way. We got, okay, wow, we just jumped to number two, so... I never get lucky in these, so that's kind of surprising. So, uh, staff signing, I just want a good trainer. Randy Clifford, or Steve Clifford, excuse me, can stay. All right, going up to the draft. I don't really, I, I kind of want to get Jalen Suggs. Jalen Suggs seems like the guy in this draft. I mean, Markel Fultz is okay. He's up to an 80, so, uh, I mean, he's fine. He's on a good contract, but look, we could trade that. and Because Jalen Suggs is just, he's just nice, so... Uh, I mean, I feel like Cade's going to go number one. I got Cade in last Magic video, and I don't really want to get him again. So, ooh, wait a second. I kind of want Jalen Green. I didn't think of that. Yeah, Cade went first. I didn't really want him anyway. So, uh, do I get Jalen Green, or do I get um, – Jalen's going one nine. Okay, I've never gotten Jalen Green in 2K before, so I'm going to have to Jalen Green. So, it's going to be our shooting guard for the future. We got our small We got our small forward in Isaac. We got Jalen Green. So, we got our second-round pick. Uh, this guy – He's at B plus. That's pretty good. So, any uh, sleepers here? Okay, I'll go with this guy. It's a B plus. So, all right, very good draft. We got Jalen Green. He's supposed to be really good in real life. He's in the G League right now. So we'll take both these guys. Looking good. <coughs> Qualifying offers. Uh, both these guys, they can walk. I don't really care. So if we look at the team right now. We have one, two. I no, he's not gonna play. Two, three, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we got enough players. Um, we probably got tons of caps. We don't. Okay, we we have no money. All right, that's kind of. I didn't. I thought we had a lot more money. Okay. Yeah, honestly, there's like no point in even signing anybody. So I'm just gonna write to player progression. Okay. Oh my God, everybody's getting better. Okay, so might that might be actually that long of rebuild. So I got to an 85. He's on a really good contract. Like in 2K, that's like 30 mil, like 17 mil for every year. Wendell Carter, honestly, I'm not sold on Wendell Carter. I think I might let him go next offseason. Uh, we'll see if Mo Bamba plays. Chuma Okiki, he might be our power forward this year. He's going to be our power forward this year. Markel and uh, Cole play are playing nice. Um, they're looking good. RJ Hampton's getting better. Mo Bamba's getting better. Okay, so our team is looking nice. Our team is definitely looking nice. So I'm just going to sim up to uh, training camps. I'll meet you guys at uh, Coach Game Plan. All right, our team is honestly looking nice. We're nice and young. We got some guys to build around. We got Markel at the one, Jalen Green, Isaac's up to an 87. We moved to a small forward. Chumo Kiki's on the four. He's actually kind of small. He's 6'6 six, six for a power forward. It's fine. Uh, Wendell Carter, who I'm not going to be sold on if I haven't said that already. Uh, Cole Anthony off the bench, Mo Bamba, RJ Hampton, and Terrence Ross, who probably will trade this offseason. Gary Harrison getting minutes. He's on 20 mil. I kind of forgot about that. So. I might send that random draft pick we got to the G League, this guy. So, yeah. So, I bet you we win, like, maybe 40 games this offseason. Or if we won, if we won like, uh, 38 games last year, we definitely win at least, like, 40 this year because our team's much better. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the year. I'm not expecting to be good. So, All right. So, we're a little bit worse this year, 35 and 47. It's not bad. We'll get another pick in the draft. I'm okay with that. Um, so, we're playing the long game here. We're getting our uh, guys that developed and we're going to take over in, like, two years. So, uh Jonathan Eisen, Defensive Player of the Year, two and a half blocks. Good to see. So, yeah, I guess he's our best player. I don't even got anybody on here. So, we're – okay, so we definitely made the playoffs. So I don't need to worry about that. Season stats, we just want to see Jalen Green. Yeah, he was the right pick. 22 a game, four rebounds, three assists, eight up 23 overall. And he was efficient. Okay, Cole Anthony. Okay, I think it's time to trade Markel. Markel, I got nothing against him, but Cole Anthony is just apparently the guy. 19 point. I mean – I don't know, Marquez more of a playmaker, but Cole Anthony could just score. Okay, I don't know. We'll we'll think about it this offseason. I mean, he could be a good backup. We'll look at it. Um, Jonathan Isaac played well. Chumo Kiki is a good four for us. Uh, Wendell Carter, I mean, any center can give you 11 and 10. 
RJ Hampton good off the bench. Mo Bamba, he might, I don't know. Because they got him, I know they got his contract wrong in this game. All right, yeah. So our, our team is looking good. I guess I'll see like the draft because we'll have another draft pick. All right, here we go. Draft lottery. We're definitely not getting lucky two years in a row. We picked 10. If we get up there again, I'm going to be, yeah. We fell to 11, actually, so somebody uh, behind us got really lucky. So, I don't really know much about this draft class, but it's fine. So, I might get a better coach. Um, I'll just get one of these coaches down here. Trent Peterson, always a good guy to get. Nice, we're signing him. So, heading up to the draft. I might think about trading up. Like, can I use, I could honestly really like Ted Holmgren, but Patrick Ball, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I might just see who's there at 10. I don't, like... Try to keep it realistic. I'm, this is the one time I actually can be realistic the entire video. I'm going to try to do it. So, um, pick 10. Marcus Bat. Ooh, I'll take, uh, no. I don't know any of these guys. I just, what do we need? We just need, a, like, a center, I guess. I will take this guy. Nate Biddle. Nice. All right. Another, I think we need the Bulls pick, right? From the, um, I guess we don't. Okay. Because from the moves which trade, right? But, um, Marcus Bat is still here. I'll take him now. Another second round pick. I don't know whose pick this is. Uh, maybe this is the Bulls pick. And who's the best guy here? Okay, I'll just take the best overall. Noah, whatever. I don't know how many of these guys are real. So, uh, yeah, Noah, Park, um, the rookie signing. We're bringing everybody in. 73, 74, and 75. So, good stuff there. Team player options. Bringing back everybody. Uh, yeah, so I don't know who's – Wendell's a free agent. I don't think he's worth that much money. If he has for more than 20 mil, I am not giving it to him. So, let's see. There's no way he asked for 20 mil, right? 23 mil. Are you kidding me? I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not doing it. Could I get a better center? Like, three centers, please. I actually have a decent amount of money. So, can we overpay for, like, Jonas Valanciunas, dude? I honestly am okay with that. I'm going to give him a team option the second year. We'll give him, like, a trial year this year if he plays well. Bring him back. So he's, he's good with that. So, I'm, yeah, I don't want Wendell Carter anymore. Danny Green was on the team. Okay, I'm, yeah, we're leaving, get rid of all these guys. So, we look at the team. What the, okay, look at the team. We have one, two, three, four, five, honestly, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, we got plenty of guys on this team. I'll see you guys at player progression. All right, here we go. Player progression. Valentine's got a little worse, but everybody else is getting better. That's what I like to see. Um, yeah, so I don't know who to choose between Cole Anthony. I mean, I might go with Cole Anthony just because he's on a lot less money. We have we have Fultz until we got two more years of him, and uh, Cole we have well two more years of him. So uh, okay, I don't uh, I don't know. I think I might, I might trade Fultz right now actually. Um, I'm gonna go with the regular season first, and then I'm gonna trade him. All right, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna trade Markel. Not, nothing against him. I'm just taking Cole Anthony just because he's very similar talent. Just Markel is he's older and he's on more money, so we we'll just have more flexibility in the off season. So we'll see what we can get from here. Like, I don't even know what we need. Like, anything. Okay, he doesn't have that much trade value, apparently. Uh, I don't know. Drummond, dude. We just throw him bomb. I don't really want to do that. So, I mean, okay. I might just keep one more year. Uh, Jeremy Grant. It's on a one-year deal. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm just going to keep one more year. Whoever played. We're going to give him similar minutes. Okay, wait a second. Let me do the rotation. All right, I do the rotation, as I was saying. Cole Anthony and Mark Kell are just getting similar mats. We'll see who plays better and whoever plays better. I'm, pro I'm probably going to trade Mark Kell, to be honest with you. Just to, just he's on more money. But, yeah, similar rotations last year. But now we got Valanciunas. Uh, Chumo Kiki is not developing very well, but I might I might trade Fultz for better power forward or might sign better forward in the offseason. So, yeah, we got we developed a little better. I don't know if our team's really that much better. We got uh, Ferdinand Centric is 3.5, so I'm going to go with that. So, hopefully, we actually get some more wins. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. All right, so we're now our playoff team at 45 and 37. Honestly, we kind of, this is like better than I thought. They're going to have another mid-year, but. All right, there's no way anybody made these teams. We are actually the sixth seed taking on the Bulls. We actually won it last year, so. Looking at the stats, 21 with Jalen Green, 21. Okay, yeah, Cole Anthony, we're definitely keeping him. Markel, I mean, he's not bad, but like Cole Anthony's just better. Valentine has played well, 15 and 12. Um. I don't know if I'm going to bring him back on the 20 mil. I might try and decline that and try and get him for less. Turo Kiki actually played well as, as the uh, starting power forward. John Ben Isaac played well. He got some blocks. You know, he's there to play some defense. He had a couple threes, maybe. Obama, yeah, a good backup. So, honestly, yeah, honestly, pretty good year. Um, I think we're a, like a superstar away from, or like a good star away from uh, actual uh, 
getting better. So um, I think we're just seeing a stud power forward maybe or a small forward can put, play uh, Isaac at the four. So we're going up against this Bulls team is kind of dirty. They lost Zach Levine. Uh, more weeks on the bone. No way we get out of here, right? There's no way, right? Okay, we won a playoff series. That's honestly very nice. So uh, next up we got the uh, Sixers who are just, yeah, okay, I don't, no, I'm not even going to go game by game. We, we know, there's no way we lose this. There's no way we win this. They're too good. We actually won a game. We actually won two games. We actually won three games. What? Are you kidding me? We won in seven? I was just the reverse psychology. That's all it's about. The Nets, the, okay, dude, we should not have come this far. But this is just building up our stock for this offseason. Like, a free agents going to be like, yo, the magic, they got it going down down there. So, uh. All right, so this team's looking nice. Um, they got the three All Stars, but other than that, they're kind of trash. We actually win game one. Can we win game two? Bro, we're in the finals. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we just win two game sevens against the Sixers and Nets. And this is the luckiest thing of, of, of all the rebuilds I've done. Look at freaking Arden Hammond off the bench, bro. He was a good pickup for the uh, Magic in that one random trade with uh, Vucevic. So. And we got the, I don't think we, we can't win. We can't win against the Nets, Sixers, and Lakers. So if I just say that game one, we probably lost, right? What? Excuse me? Dude, if we win this year, I'm going to do another year because it was definitely a fluke if we're being honest with each other. So I'm just going to, yeah. No way. No way. Are you kidding me? They, not, we won in seven. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I'd be winning. I'd be losing in the first round as a one seed, and I'm the six seed Magic. Oh my God! We'd be Embiid, Kyrie, LeBron, Harden, Jan and oh my God! I am. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do one more year. We'll see if we can win it all, and I'll see you guys. I'll go. We'll go to uh, free agency. <clears throat> all right. I'm at the draft. I'm gonna look to trade Fultz and these two picks. Um, I mean, I could have run it back. Like, if this team won it, could it, could it probably win? I, I know, I was so lucky. Who am I kidding? Um, honestly, this trade right here, we get a nice power forward in Larry Markman. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Honestly, I'm going to go. I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to trade these two picks. I don't really need them right now. So just give me some future picks, please. Come on. I don't feel like I made a pick. Okay, first pick of the second round, and we trade that pick to the six of the two second round picks. Yeah. Okay, so... T player options. The balance units, I'm gonna I'm gonna look to bring them back a little less. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna decline that. Um okay, we're gonna bring all these guys back. Yeah, we got just got young guys, young talent top of young talent. So um qualifying offers, mobile we're looking to bring back. He's a good backup for us. Um so other than that, who's a free agent here? Like who could we you uh, like the king dude? We get the king on a one year deal. That, no, we're getting the king on a for your deal. If we got the king, that would be game over for us the league. We won it all. He would get so disrespected if he accepted this. Oh, he's not going to accept it. So, um, oh, there's no, like, stud here I want, you know? Can we do, like, a quick sign-in trade with, like, Porzingis or something? I might try that. Sign-in trade with Porzingis. Or just bring him in instead of, um, Valanciunas. Honestly, that could be the move. Yeah, I'm honestly kind of down with that. Unless LeBron comes back, because that would be hilarious if LeBron came here. And we're looking to trade Fultz, too. So, um, let me make sure LeBron's actually gone. Come on, LeBron, please. LeBron, oh, okay. So, we got Porzingis. He's our new center. He saw us win it, and he wanted to stay. He saw us run it back. Let's get another one. So, now our team is looking nice. We got these. Yeah, okay. I want to trade. We got such a nice bench, too. Like, wow. Okay, do we, can we bring back, like, Bamba or something? Like, can I bring back Mo Bamba? I kind of like him as a center. Um, Mo Bamba, where is he? I call him the D. I pronounce the rights on him. Here he is. Can I get him back on that much? We accept that. Come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a good deal. We need you back. Come on. Let's run it back. Thirteen mil and win a championship. Come on. I know you want to do it. He's gonna accept it right here. Ready? Let's go. We got our boy back. Okay, I'm gonna player progression, and I'm finally trading Markel Full. All right, here we go. We got Chris Stapps here. I don't know why he's only eighty four. He eighty five, I guess. In top right, our team's looking nice. Our team's looking very nice. We finally got our stud power uh, center. So yeah, we're looking to trade. Let me just check on you guys. One, two, three, four, 
five, honestly, six, seven, eight. I'm moving someone to a power forward. This guy, power forward, bang. Okay, so right now we're trading. Mark, honestly, a guy I got an eye on is Jaron Jackson Jr. So how much is it to get a Jaron Jackson Jr.? He's an 84 overall. He's not an impossible to trade for properly. So Markel and this guy. Two, oh, how much do we need? Eight mil, okay. I'll make that up real quick. Oh, I don't know if I can. Um, I need another four mil. Who's on? Who's on nothing? So, oh, is this worth it? We because now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've nine. We've nine playable guys plus Darren Jackson. Could they use a point guard? The Knicks could use a point guard. They're gonna power forward. They don't need Darren Jackson. Deal. Let's go. We got Jaron Jackson. Okay. We're looking to repeat. Let's get it. All right. Final year. Here's a team. We kept calling through the whole video. We kept him from the first draft. John, okay. So we kind of kept the young core and just add some guys along. So this is pretty realistic if you ask me. Jaron Jackson, new guy in town. This defensive. Dude, the shot blocking from the one through three. Uh, RJ off the bench, honestly, was a really good. It's just a good six man. He's winning six man of the year this year. He feels restless. Oh, he's not happy. Just check how happy everybody is. Okay. So nobody's happy. Nobody's happy. Are you serious? Won a championship? Nobody's happy, bro. Chua Kiwi still here. Okay, so system wise, only three and a half stars. Disrespectful, whatever. Time to repeat. All right, we got better this year. Fifty three and twenty nine. Not a crazy record, but we're saving ourselves for the playoffs. Trey Young, thirty one and fifteen. MVP. Um, John Isaac. Let's go. Defense Player of the Year. Uh, okay, Doc Rivers on twenty nine games. Do we finally get somebody on the? Uh, all NBA teams, and we probably didn't, so whatever. They're disrespecting us still. We're three seed, actually. We won as the six seed, so anything can happen. So, playoff, playoff, ugh, season stats. Excuse me. 22, what a pickup he was. How many blocks? Look, he only had 1.3 blocks a game. Look at Chris Stapps. Okay, I thought we were going to destroy everybody with paint. Um, pause. That wasn't going to us, actually. So, four, okay, yeah, just amazing stuff. Where did Cole, Cole Anthony, 22? Okay, so glad we kept him. He had six assists, too, so he got better. Yeah, we're just, yeah, we're just freaking goaded. So, first, uh, we're going up against uh, Lamelo and all them. Team's pretty good, but uh, Tony Bradley is not going to cut it against Chris Stapps Porzingis. So I'm just going to see like I'm just going to see like the playoffs. We're just gonna, I got to be somewhere soon, so I'm just going to get this done quick. We'll get him in five. Yeah, one more. All right, the Bulls. We beat them last year in the first round as a six seed, so I'm not worried. Okay, I didn't think our team was that good anyway. So we won a championship. I kept it realistic. So these are two things I want to get done on today's video. So hope you guys enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.